Hi guys, this is Tammy and for today's video I'm gonna be drawing this beautiful yellow macaw which is a bird that you can see in South America and then I've seen it also in Brazil and for inspiration I have this yellow macaw it's a picture that I found on the internet and let's get it started I'm gonna choose the square shape canvas on Procreate, I'm gonna adjust and uh, I'm gonna rename the first layer. So I'm gonna have the first layer as the sketch. I'll pick the brush, which is gonna be HP1. And I'm gonna start drawing my Macau. There's gonna be times when you're gonna need to resize your drawing and for that you can use the arrow symbol up there you click on it and then you resize and you change the position of your drawing also if you ever need to like to resize just a certain portion of the drawing uh, in this example I'll need to resize the bird's beak so you can use the figure that looks like a trace right on the left side of the arrow so you can select like the portion you want to crop and resize and just do what you need to do now you see how my sketch came up it doesn't look really good right now but i promise you guys it's gonna look better in a field so i'm gonna create another layer and it's gonna be for the body I'm gonna be using the white light brush on the artistic set for painting the body of the bird and I'm gonna start with yellow I'm gonna fast forward this video but I'm gonna be using like many shades and I'm sorry many colors and for each color in each part of the bird's body I'm gonna create a layer and that's very important you guys because when you need to edit your picture when something doesn't look all right you just go to that exactly layer and change just that layer now I'm gonna draw the bird's eyes for this um, section of the bird I'm gonna be using the studio pencil which you can find on inking. I don't know why, but I still have many pencils, many brushes that still have the Portuguese name, even though I already changed my language and my region. And now you're gonna see I'm still using the same pencil for, I'm sorry, the same brush for drawing the bird's face details. And I'm gonna be using the same brush, the studio brush, for painting the bird's feet. And as the video goes on, you're gonna see I'm gonna change many times the um, background color. So this way I can, you know, uh, paint and detail the portions I want without losing the idea of the drawing because if I use just one bottom color sometimes when I'm drawing like too close to the edges of the drawing I can get confused because of my background color so this is why you're gonna see I'm gonna change many times the bottom color Now I'm gonna start smudging my picture and I'm gonna be using that tool that looks like a finger up there and it's really really good tool because you can blend and get you know that smoother colors and 
it looks it makes your drawing look more realistic so whenever you want to look to make something like these like feathers or like skin and you want to blend the shades uh, like girls know that when we do makeup like sometimes we have the highlighter or we have the contour and we have to blend them so they look good and the same applies for the drawing Another tool that you can count on to is the eraser. The eraser is not just for erasing uh, when you're sketching. You also can use it when you are painting so it can make the colors look more um, put together. You know, like for this drawing, I use the eraser for smoothing out the, the lights on the bird's beak. Now I'm already heading to the last details. So this is why it's really important for you to have a reference image because you can always look at the image and then put all those details on your drawing. And when you're a beginning, just like I am, you, you still don't know how to create things from the top of your head. So there's nothing wrong when you want to use a reference image and then later on when you get better when you know how to draw things on your own like you know how to create how to come up with ideas and colors and shade and everything else you'll be you know more free to do your own thing but right now don't feel um, bad because you don't know how to just you know create things by yourself so I'm using the fine tip brush for the bird's feet details and also I use the same one for the inner parts of the bird's legs for the shadow. Don't worry if you can't read what I'm gonna write right now. I'm writing the name of this bird in Portuguese, which is Arara Canindé, and the name of it in English is Yellow Macau. And that's it for today, guys. I hope you liked my video, and if you'd like to see more videos like that, please let me know at the section below in the comments. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up, and of course, I'll be like engaged to bring more videos like that of course improving every time more and now i'm just signing my uh, drawing and also i'm gonna name my drawing and i think this is a pretty cool option that procreate gave us i hope you all liked it and follow me on instagram